this Tampa Bay treasure. Brought to you by Winn-Dixie Marketplace. Thomas Wolfe might have believed you can't go home again. But maybe that's because he never spent an afternoon with Ferdy Pacheco, the painter. Of all the things I paint, the easiest and the most pleasure is Ybor City because I revisit my youth. With every one of these pictures, it brings me back to a, to a time that was enchanted for me. I, I had a very good childhood. I got a very good growing up. That time was Ybor's last golden era, from the 20s to the 40s, when families sat outside cigar factories listening to the stories being read to the rollers inside. Men fought gun duels over the choice of those stories. Royalty and rascals abounded. Cops were on the take, streetcars could take you anywhere. Sunday afternoons were for dancing. Some of my happiest days were at the Columbia Restaurant as a waiter. I mean, I, that's the first time I knew I could do a man's job and do it well. But Ebor then was a town full of American dreamers. And as Ferdy came of age, too many were realizing those dreams. I've never heard of anybody encouraging their son to become a cigar maker. It's the only business I've ever known that somebody said, listen, I'm a cigar maker, I want you to be a cigar maker. So I'm a cigar maker, I want you to be a dentist. You know, get out of here. This is no good. Consequently, all of us went to, to the Second World War, we came back, went to the GI Bill of Rights, and we escaped Ybor City. Ferdy's was quite an escape from private medical practice in Miami to ringside as Muhammad Ali's personal physician to boxing commentator, the internationally known fight doctor. At his core, though, he was and is a storyteller, which is Ebor's great fortune. The old neighborhood was 50 years past its prime when Ferdy, the author, memorialized his childhood in the Ebor City Chronicles. Finally, the reasons why we had loved this forgotten place were there in print and as the perfect compliment, we're soon in paint. I'm a narrative painter. I mean, I, I don't like to paint trees. I don't like to paint ocean views. I mean, I think anybody can do that. But not too many people can paint uh, stories. And they're everywhere your eye falls. Each character, a little story, as important as the big picture. Everything's going on. There's a little love affair going on here. There's always some clandestine love affair going on in the cigar factories. The only kind of distinction was by size. There's three little midget guys talking. There was, the guy that served coffee always looked to me like he was four foot tall. And there was always some, some guy was equally tall to him that was his buddy. In the 30s and 40s, we didn't have a Super Bowl. We didn't have a National Football League that made any difference. So what we did have was Plant High School and the powerhouses of Hillsborough High School where all of our Ebor City guys played. So here we have the two meet at a streetcar and get all tangled up. Uh, usually fist fights broke out, sometimes romances broke out. Here's the guy kissing his girl, he, he doesn't want to take a minute. Here's another guy giving a hot foot, who remembers that? Ebor's most famous son still likes to come back often. Still likes to show off where he's grounded. So the guy says, well, says what, what do you want? I said, just Columbia Waiter. He said, well, you don't want to put a writer, painter? I said, just put Columbia Waiter on there. <laughs> of all of the things you've done. Yeah, of all the things I've done. I tell you, I had just as much fun doing that as I did anything else, and I certainly, certainly learned a lot. I'm driven to record what it, what it was like, who we were, what we did, and what it looked like. Because I think uh, in the final analysis, we really proved out that the American dream works. The new dreamers are here now, ready for another golden era. If they ever need a reminder of Ebor's essence, they need only come here, where Ferdy Pacheco has shown us how to paint your way home again. This Tampa Bay treasure, brought to you by Winn-Dixie Marketplace.